Hi everybody, this is Jenny, and today we are going to be playing Crypt of the Necrodancer. I don't know if you've heard about it, it's pretty nifty, it's a game you can play with the DDR math and stuff like that. And what it is, is you're, it's a roguelike where you're in the dungeon, and I'm pretty sure you kind of died on the way down, and now you're stuck captive to the beast. But the good news is, everybody else in the dungeon is stuck and is captive to the beast as well. So everybody's all in this together, they've all got to deal with the same kind of, you know, suffering and things like that. But when you're moving to the music, it's not really suffering. This is a game I've already been playing for a while. You can see here you get you can go into little shops and these are things that will appear in extra playthroughs if I end up buying the upgrades and things like that. I have two gems and as or diamonds and as you're going through uh, dungeon, you might come across the diamonds. They're the only thing you'll take back with you. Everything else, if you die, they get left behind like a typical roguelike. But the diamonds they remain, and then you can get different upgrades that'll make it easier to survive and keep going. So yeah, let's see. I think I'm going to go with the health upgrade. So that's permanent now. I'll always have more health whenever I go into a dungeon. It's very easy to play. All you have to do is just go up, down, left, right. And you can see the bottom screen, that's the heart right there. That's her heart and the beast going there, so you have to try and move in time with it. So, it's going to be, a, I've got to like get into the groove again, now I'll start talking. So, give me a minute. There we go. And yeah, I lost the beat. She has a shovel right now. She has a regular dagger. And I let the enemy just hit me so you can see. They have different patterns and dungeon. You want to avoid those if you can. And like, see, I've got the apple now. I want to go ahead and eat that. You can dig into the walls of the dungeon with the shovel. There are some blocks you can't dig through. You have to either get a bomb or things like that. I swear I'm much better at this usually. It's just having to do this while talking is a little bit frustrating. Ooh, I hate the monkey. And eventually you can put your own custom music into here. You can also put your own custom characters, but I really haven't had that happen yet. I I don't know why, I just, I downloaded some from the Steam Workshop, but they didn't go in and it didn't work quite the way I expected. There's a little trap and dungeon right there. Ooh, better sword. When you get a different weapon, you end up having a better range. What I'm trying to find now, there's a door to the, every, the exit of every dungeon. There's also a boss, usually two. Ah, that sweet broadsword. I really like the disco effect once you've got the beat and you're keeping it. Oh, you hear that singing? That's the shopkeep. So I can use the gold that I've earned to get something. I'll get that. Now I can see a little bit better with that torch. If I want to, and it was a trick, if you need some extra gold, if you place a bomb near the walls of his shop, it'll blow up and you'll get the gold from the walls. And yes, I know, I'm still missing the beat. There we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Don't want to take that knife again. Nope. Nope. There's the end of the boss. I was really hoping it wouldn't have been a dragon, because the dragon's one of the harder bosses. Oh! Just said, oh, there he is again. And I'm dead. Let's go ahead and go to the lobby and restart. This time I promise I'll be much better. Unfortunately, I can't spend that beautiful diamond on anything, because I don't have any extra diamonds, it's just, you can't do much with one. So let's leave and lose the diamond. Good, I got the wider attack.
Ooh. I like the idea of cheaper shops. Let's see if I've got enough to do if I place the bomb to blow that up. That's better. That worked out very well, if I do say so. Remember, it's not cheating if they give you the utensil to do it. Ooh. I like this boss much better. He's a bull, he charges when he sees you. Wasn't too difficult at all to avoid him. Now the door is going to be unlocked wherever it is. We can go. There it is. Let's catch that hole before we go down. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. Welcome to the music lesson. Oh, chain mail. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Ooh, I know the beat being skipped. Yeah, we'll take the ballet shoes. Take that sword. Well, let's take the heart, too. I mean, it's not like I can take that gold with me if I die, right? go. No, since I'm doing so well, I'm not going to bother exploring the floor anymore. I'm just going to go on ahead. Oh, I hate that monkey, you know. Ooh, a gold key. Let's go ahead and get that. The gold keys usually unlock somebody who can end up setting up a shop in the hub area. So if you see one of those, you want to get those as soon as you can. Perfect. Ooh, a better shuffle too. You know what? I still have a bomb left. Let's go ahead and get that better shuffle. Oh, and don't place the bomb where I just did now, because you can do better. Ooh, I hate that banshee thing. I know I just heard it and it's horrible. Those banshees are horrible, horrible, horrible monsters. Yeah, I can see it there in the corner. See those big wide eyes? They're horrible. And those ghosts. Those ghosts are pretty bad too. I hate those ghosts. There's that person who needed the help. Thank you. Ah, shoot. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter that I died. I ended up unlocking a new NPC. And even then, that's pretty good. You can't beat that. So let's go to the lobby. Let's go see what this new NPC does. Hello. I'll let you train against bosses. Well, that's kind of nice. Good option and everything. Can't use that diamond anyway, so let's go ahead and leave. And we're going to do one more round. And then I think you'll have a pretty idea what to expect.
Right now, this is an early access game, but it's one of the few that I would really recommend because it's doing so well and everything. The developers, you can trust them, they're, act they're keeping everything. They're not letting people down. Wall up the wall. Gold for war. Get that. Get that. We'll get absolutely everything we could get. The spear is pretty nice. It gives a nice, there you go, distance to it. Very, very good for bosses. Even though I like the broadsword of his light attack, I like the spear, the spear much better. Look, I just paid that money for a spear, and now it's going to be there for free. One of the easiest bosses. Go get a tackle. Let's pretend that didn't happen. here. Ooh, got a map of the dungeon. died. Well, no, I think that's a good place to stop. Thank you for joining me while I played a little bit of Crypt the Necrodancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, and I absolutely 100% recommend this game. You can get it right now. As I said, it's an early access title, but it's still doing very, it's one of those few early access titles where you can really count on the developer to come through. There's the active Steam Workshop community. You can start putting your own songs into there. It's going to cost you $14.99 if you get it, but honestly, I think it's worth it for the amount of value. Brace Yourself Games is doing a really good job with it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I, if you've been to playing Crypt the Necrodancer, I hope you have a good time with it.